Let's just keep it real simple. Just two yes or no questions. And this is for um, uh, Dr. Kumar. Dr. Kumar, can biological men become pregnant and give birth? Um, so men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. Uh, so, so can biological men become pregnant and give birth? So are you saying that a biological female who identifies as a man and therefore becomes pregnant is, quote, a man? Is that what you're saying? These questions about who can become pregnant are really missing the point. I'm here to talk no, about No, 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 no. This is me Somebody, asking a question I'm answering and you question. answering. I'm okay. asking the question, sir, not you. Right, and I'm answering the question. Somebody with a uterus may have the capability of becoming pregnant, whether they're a woman or a man. That doesn't make uh, okay, a difference. Okay, we're done. Not we're every done. person with this a uterus isn't complicated. has the ability to become Let me tell pregnant. you, if a person has this a uterus medicine. and is born, as a, is born female, they are a woman. That is not a man, and the vast majority of the world considers that to be a woman, because there are biological differences between men and women. I mean, clearly, any high school biology class teaches that men and women have different chromosomes. Females are XX chromosome, and male are XY chromosome. Can't believe it's necessary to say this, but men cannot get pregnant and cannot get birth, give birth, regardless of how they identify themselves. Why in the world would Democrats have brought in a person whose title is Director of Trans Care for an abortion hearing when only biological women can become pregnant? Dr. Kumar, in your opening statement, you said, quote, abortion bans are inherently racist, inherently classist, and fundamentally part of, white, of the white supremacy agenda. How do you rationalize working for Planned Parenthood, an organization founded by Margaret Sanger, someone who associated with white supremacist groups and eugenics? Margaret Sanger's entire focus was to decimate communities of color through abortion to eliminate their future generations. You know, at a time... How many abortions have you performed in your lifetime? If I can answer your no, question. No, no, no. How many abortions have you performed in your lifetime? Likely thousands. Likely thousands. Okay. So as a doctor yourself, do you believe you have terminated enough unborn babies to justify Margaret Sanger's beliefs and your continuance of her legacy? This is unconscionable. This is inexcusable. I'm thankful it is now criminal, and I look forward to the day when life is again respected across our entire nation. In closing, I'd like to ask for unanimous consent to submit for the record a copy of the United States Constitution, which, despite my Democrat colleagues' absurd claims, does not, and I repeat, does not include a right, a constitutional right to abortion. The word abortion doesn't even exist in it. And I would also like to ask unanimous consent to submit for the record the Declaration of Independence, which highlights the inalienable right to life. So, so ordered. Thank you, and I yield back.